final story is about America's greatest asshole. Well, not greatest. That's our president. But um, I'm talking about Caitlyn Jenner, darling. Uh, she uh, has been getting a, her new book. She's been trying to fluff out her pussy to get attention for her new book. And in her new book, she accuses Ellen DeGeneres of turning the LGBTQ community against her. Stop it. Uh-huh. So in this story from Unicorn Booty, one of our favorite websites, make sure you check her out. Yes. This, this dumb bitch uh, <laughs> tries to blame Ellen for turning the LGBTQ <laughs> community against her. Miss um, Jenner, may I have a word? Yes. <clears throat> yes, I just wanted to let you know you turned us against you by being a stupid asshole with backwards views, okay? You're an idiot, you're a dumbass, your position on gay marriage has always been questionable, you're still trying, you voted for Donald Trump, huh. you've not admitted you were wrong, you spent an entire uh, series on E, I am hate, I am nude lipstick, on uh, with a bus full of the greatest, smartest trans women around who tried to give you a fucking chance and you stayed closed off and stupid. Did you ever pay for that lady's surgery or whatever that was? Remember, she was going to pay for that surgery? Yeah. Like her, Did the teeth or whatever? Yeah. Or the steel, whatever it was. Did you pay for that? I don't know. She did. But uh, you did not turn, Ellen did not turn us against you. You did it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what? She is trying to make amends. If you watch her new shit on Diane Sawyer, she's trying to make did you, amends. Did that already come out? Fuck. It's coming out. But did you um, see it? Listen, I don't believe anything that she said. Uh -huh. So I have to know what she's saying. Mm -hmm. And I have a lot of shady sources who give me a lot of good tea. So yes, it's horrible. Uh, but I, I'm interested to see how people receive it. Yeah. Because if you are a person that believes in people, you'll believe it. Now, if you are a person who sees through the shade, you'll know the tea. Get your, that's exactly what I want. I'm trying. Right there. Uh, oh, you there got, it is. Right. I see through right. the shade. Is everybody Caitlin? looking? Can we see? Oh, I can through see. Through the shade, can and you I, see? I want to know. You I see? Just, yeah, I do. I see it. Okay, I just want to know. I just want to know, does anybody, I mean, is it is it over? Is it done yet? Is <laughs> Again, she is not, like I said earlier on an earlier show or earlier today, I don't believe that Caitlyn Jenner is the end all to transitioning. No, I get you. Agreed. I don't get it. I, there's yeah. a lot of other pioneers uh -huh. that are way more knowledgeable and more reliable. And my friend Buck Angel is a mm -hmm. saint. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. And Reach it. I yeah. just, I look at these, there's a couple of, oh, I don't know how oh, I could go on forever on this, but. Um, there's a couple people in mainstream that I just don't really think that they need to be the voice because people watch them because they are mainstream and I, you know, yeah, okay, so Bruce Jenner, the Wheaties man, Superman or whatever he was, can't stop the music and all of it. He, uh, you know, I mean, he was almost a sex change in can't stop the music. Yes, I was just going to say. But I just, you know, I, it angers me. Why are we still talking about her? <laughs> uh, exactly. Meatball, help us wrap up this bullshit. Uh, I just think I agree. I think um, the perfect example is when Jiggly Caliente came out as trans. Mm -hmm. And she said, don't quote me. I'm not a role model yet. I'm still trying to figure this out. Caitlyn Jenner came out as trans and immediately was like, I want you all to look at me. This is my journey. You're coming with me on this. And it was so fucked up. Like, yeah. it, she wasn't ready for what she did. And I think I agree with you. She's not done. She's probably gonna go back or something, I don't know. Well, the, all the whole time, it's like, just come out. So, I'm coming out as trans, um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm transitioning, I'm, uh, you know, I'm having gender reassignment, I'm doing all these things, and now you need to embrace me, and you need to love me, because look at me, I was on the car, I'm just, look, you need to do this, because you need to do it, because it's me, and I'm a big voice, and I Why did she it. have to go so public with it? Well, I Why was, couldn't she just be her I understand that. Scared. I just yeah. wish I, know, I had disgusting. like Bruce. It's, it's disgusting. Yeah. I wish I had like Bruce. I wish Bruce wasn't a murderer. I wish Bruce was a whole nother I wish Bruce wasn't a fucking chauvinist. Conservative, I wish, I wish, idiot. Yeah, I wish yeah. Bruce wasn't that Misogynist. way. Because now I can't move on to Kaylin without looking at Bruce. We tried to move on we to tried. Kaylin, right, Katie? We, we all tried to we love and support her. Things need to change with Kaylin. 
not just the boobs and the clothes and the nude lipstick. Other things need to change if you're going to be a role model for an entire society. A role model for us, even yeah. I mean, for for trans people, yeah. for drag, for gays. Yeah. You need to change. You can't still be bigoted, and because you, we are big, we are. People hate us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People hate us, mm -hmm. and they want to hurt us. Mm -hmm. And if you, if you're really a strong person that wants to change that, then you, there's other things in you that need to change, not just the outside, yes. not just mm -hmm. the hairstyle. Mm -hmm. And you don't just need to be on the cover of Vanity Fair in a lingerie. It's just not, that's great and titillating and fierce and all the straight guys that are, loved Bruce Jenner and loved the Olympian and are jacking off to him. Unfortunately, and none of this will be possible because Lady Red, I'm sorry to say this, but Caitlyn Jenner is America's number one stunt queen, and she's gonna continue to pull fucking stunts. Yeah. Oh, look she at Lady Red's mad. Lady Red, do you love her? No, she oh. says she's the number one stunt queen. Oh, you are. Ah. Okay. I get it. I'm a six foot eight man. Yes. Who is transitioning into a woman? Yes. And I applaud With you. With no either. fucking budget. Yes. You understand what I'm well saying? Well said. It's easy to transition and be all this when you have millions yes. and you're living in an ice castle. And you know, the craziest thing is, I thought I would be jaded at her because of that. I wasn't. I was jaded that she had brought in a committee of bitches to worship her. Yeah. I was upset about that. I wanted to see them bring a bitch like me in who really don't give a shit what you got. I just want to kick it with you. And if you ain't real, I'm calling that shit out. Yeah. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I hang around rich people all fucking day. That don't mean shit to me. You but can't. my budget is my budget. <laughs> yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I got to keep it real. If you give me a sandwich, bitch, thank you for the sandwich. But I'm still going to tell you what I think. You shouldn't have brought me here anyway. <laughs> Listen, that, I, But I, she got girls to worship her. I didn't like that. Yeah. Well, watching that, Candace Kane, who is a wonderful friend of mine. Mm -hmm. I adore Candace. Mm -hmm. I think Candace's transition. I was there the first night Candace was in drag when we went to the Paris's burning premiere. Oh. Her and Sherry Vine, she was a little boy in drag. Oh my God. I, I was, and she's a role model. Yes. Candace is a role model. Yes. Buck is a role model. Yes. It's, you know, and they just don't got the coins to, to exploit it, I guess is what it is. Yeah. And yeah. I, and, you know, uh, Explain well, I think we're all it. summing this up to say, Caitlin, take a motherfucking seat. Right! Okay? Yeah. 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 Yeah.